Hello there. I didn't see you there. My name is Julie Brozovich, and I'm the assistant manager of Santa Tracker. So, a little bit about myself. As you may have seen on the social media, I um, have a bachelor's of business administration degree, which I earned from UTSA. That's the University of Texas at San Antonio. And I earned that degree in the field of cybersecurity. A little interesting tidbit regarding that. So I chose the field of cybersecurity because not only does it play to my strengths of um, problem solving, liking puzzles, but I also had a uh, associate's degree in the field of cybercrime technology that I wanted to build on. So those things combined are why I chose that field of cybersecurity. Another interesting tidbit with my background is that um, I also have a little bit of ed educational knowledge in the, in the uh, field of digital forensics, which just so happened to be my minor while I was at UTSA. Um, those things being said, you can say that I'm very much a geek and a nerd. Not only because I, I have the degree in cybersecurity, and not only, not only that, but I also enjoy video games, anime, all things geek culture. I forgot to mention that I also am very much into all things technology related. In fact, Anytime a new piece of technology comes out, I'm wanting that piece of technology because I want to play with that piece of technology, figure out how it works, etc., etc. And that could be like anytime a new computer comes out, a new phone comes out, a new video game system comes out. If it's one of those and it's new and it's tech related, I'm going to want it. Uh, I'm also very much on my computer and my phone a lot of the time, though my family would beg to differ on that and actually say that it's to a point that it's always anymore, that I'm literally attached to my computer and my phone, which is another reason I'm very much a geek and a nerd. So when I'm not geeking or nerding out over stuff, I enjoy um, writing stories, mostly fa fantasy related. I, I do write kind of some you know, drama related stories. It just it really depends on my mood. And when I'm not doing that, I enjoy a good book. And as far far as genre goes, they're good. Just really depends on my mood. Uh, same goes for music. Don't really have a set genre I listen to. Yes, oddly enough, I listen to metal music, but it's not really my cup of tea. It, it's very, very rare that I will listen to that particular genre. Same thing with rap and R&B. They're just not really my cup of tea. So, what I'm looking forward to. What I'm looking forward to is kind of hard to say because there's just so much that I am very much looking forward to not only as by being the assistant manager but also as just a general employee of uh, Santa Tracker. There's in essence a number of things that I could name. 
And so I have to say the number one thing that I'm probably looking forward to the most just with Santa Tracker overall is just come Christmas Eve um, being able to talk to the kids and just in general letting them know where Santa is and just being able to not only see their excitement online but the fact that I'm going to get to talk to them on the Skype line and actually get to hear them that brings me excitement knowing that they're going to be excited and that their eyes are figuratively going to be lighting up like Christmas trees when I relay this information to them. That's probably the, the biggest thing that I am looking forward to. So regarding this job and things overall, what's the most exciting thing? There again, that's really hard to answer because there's been a lot of exciting things and everything pertaining to not only this job at Santa Tracker. If I had to sum it up, I would just say the biggest, most exciting thing just pertaining to this job in general is all the unique challenges that could come with this job. When I mean challenges, just all the new, new experiences and those challenges of, th of things that I've never experienced. Like, for example, um, being in charge of the Santa Tracker office. Um, back when I had to be in charge, that was my first time ever being in charge of the group of people. It was nerve-wracking but it was also really exciting because it was a very much a first-time experience and a challenge that I wanted to rise to. Uh, another thing that I, I, I could see is maybe having to negotiate a contract. Don't, don't know if that, that will come up but you never know. It's, it's just those little and um, those big challenges that I find the most exciting and exhilarating about this job because I've never really gotten to experience a lot of those challenges before. So what can I bring? It's hard to pinpoint just one thing that I can bring to this job and to Santa Tracker in general. But if I had to name one big thing that I am bringing, it's my can to add to. And what I mean by that is, is I'm ready and willing to learn anything that I need to learn for this job and rise to those challenges that come my way. So I'm just, it, but that, so what that means is I'm not going to quit. I'm going to be like very persistent and I'm going to be, have this attitude that I can do this. You can do this. And you're not going to quit till you do this. That attitude is the biggest thing that I am bringing to this job. And I feel it's the single biggest thing that will get me through those tough times. Because I know not everything is about this job is going to be easy. There are going to be, at some point, some very difficult things that I'm going to have to deal with. Or potentially difficult people that I'm going to have to deal with. And speaking of, of difficult things, I, another thing that just came to mind that I'm also bringing is I very much bring positivity. 
because without the positivity, that, you know, I'm not going to have that can-do attitude and that drive to do things. And it's that positivity that has gotten me through some of the tough challenges that I've had to deal with already, such as being in charge of the Santa Tracker office when the CEO was out of town. And then there's, I also have the technical skills that I, I'm also bringing that um, I would like to think that will get me through the, this uh, Santa tracking gear. Is this job easy or is it hard? Hmm. That's a very difficult question to answer, kind of like some of these others. I'd like to say that this job has been easy, but there have been some instances where it's also been hard. So it's really not easy, but the same token, it's really not difficult or hard either. It's it's just somewhere in between. It, it's kind of like a mix of both easy and hard. It's easy in the sense that, oh, you know, with the social media, making sure all, all that's gone out, that's the easy part of it. The difficult part comes in um, is managing all the managers and how, helping to manage employees. But um, maybe having to deal with, you know, a difficult, on that end, a difficult situation or someone that is being difficult that's where the difficulty in lies because then you have to go through that process of writing something up, etc., etc., and that 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 gets to be very stressful very quickly, especially if you have an instance maybe where someone's not cooperating. It also gets to be very aggravating, <laughs> makes your life a little more difficult than it otherwise would be. But at the same token, it, it makes your life difficult but in a good way. Because it's bringing that challenge that you, you want or need, if you will. It, it, well, it's kind of kind of hard to exp that that challenge is kind of hard to explain. It, it, it in my 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 realm of thinking, for me, dealing sometimes with that that difficult situation brings that challenge that I need to be able to prove myself that I can handle this responsibility that I've been given. And I, and I know going forward, there may be other instances where I have a lot of projects I have to do, which also gets really stressful. So, bottom line, with all the stressful stuff, that's difficult. And when it's non-stressful and maybe off-season, it's a little easier. So in short, it's a mix of both. So is, is the job fast paced or is it slow paced? Um, going back to how I said, is it easy or hard? There again, this particular job has really been a mix of both being fast paced and slow paced. Some days it's been really slow, Has there hasn't been much going on that I've had to take care of. Other days, it's just been boom, 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 boom. You got to get everything done. 
and get it into the, the you know, my boss being the CEO, or maybe IT needs something. It, it just really depends on the, the day or the particular week. Like, starting out, it, it seemed a little bit slow. Um, I know when I had to be in charge of the office, it, re it, it seemed slow at first, and then it got really fast-paced. And I had to keep track, keep on top of things like boom, 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 make sure you know everything got done. And then having to do a, a report, and then I had something else I had to do as on top of that. It just at that that point it seems as like boom, 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 do this, do this, do this. And I know when it gets closer to um. When the tracking season start, it's also going to be very boom, boom, boom. You got to do this. You got to do this. You got to do that. But that I, I, I don't really, I don't really mind that it's on some days that it's going to be like that. On the other hand, I don't really mind that it's slow paced in other days. I like having that mix. And it, because it allows me to adjust, honestly. But with, with that being said, you know, I'm really um, looking forward to continuing in this position, learning all that I can learn, and even hearing from you guys.